me now, maybe. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Tell me about the eldest, the creature who has ticket number two suffers. He's in the waiting room waiting. Hmm, let me sing. See him, but from what I see, it's not really an illness. Headache caused by low levels of agony in him. Wow, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his tickets. Yeah, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. Don't forget the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm a very problematic point in life. I'm in a very problematic... Aww. <laughs> Fran. Thought everything was going to be better with... When... Uh, wait, wait, wait. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. I said with. But now everything is go so confusing. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. Aunt Grace is like... Crazy too. I don't know what to do, Mabuka said that I was selected for something, the key bearer, but she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. You my kitty, Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. Just want to find him so I can go back to the thirst. Aww, Fran is crying. Aww. Lovely pain, so profound. <laughs> That's sad. Bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go on now, time does not wait for anybody. Thank you, I'll be going home, uh, going now, goodbye. So much reading, I, I make some mistakes. Apologize. Okay, I give my tears. Oh. Drink this, you'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me, ha ha ha, how lovely, let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more, give me more. No, leave me alone, you promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. Alright, alright, there you go. It's now gotta wait still. Thank you, your tears taste absolutely delicious. No, I sit down or what? Ah, oh, now we're number two, there we go. Fucker left. I'm next. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry. We don't help sick people without an appointment. But if I'm not sick, I lost my kitty. Or, but I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I just want to find him. I lost kitty. Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their mind instead. Huh. Lucky. But how do I get an appointment, then? Ah, uh, just call me. Here's my card with a telephone number. Are you insane? Call us. Why must I call you? Why can't I make an appointment now? That would be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. <laughs> I'll go and make a call then. What the fuck? Okay. Alright, the phone is in... This one. I gotta dial that whole number. 01-221-217-271. Can someone type that in chat for me, please? 0122. Maybe I just use it. Maybe I don't have to actually remember it. Hold on. Damn it. We gotta actually. Okay, there it is. It's right there. Never mind. 0122217276. Hello? Yes, do we have a call to make an appointment? It's Fran Bo. Uh huh. I'm available now. No, uh, no. I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> this fucking game. Obamacare works great. This game. Call 911. Patient number two, do you have an appointment? Yes, Fran Bo is my name, and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. Doctor will see you in a minute. I'll go through the door. Or go through the door to your right. All right, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Don't know why I had to call her. Uh, hello. I'm sorry. Did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Whew, yes, yes. What a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. <laughs> thank you. I guess uh, if you don't mind, I'll have an appointment. I don't want to actually because it's none of my business. I scared the ghost. <laughs> oh, god damn it. You haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You're a Remmer, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce, <laughs> to introduce myself properly. 
Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remor, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where is my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dearn? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires. I could use you for whatever I want. You're under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You're assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. That is the doctor? No, that's not a doctor. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. Aw, Fran. Jesus. No, it can't be. Stop it. How, should, how could she have cut them up like that? There's no way. Oh my god. I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. Oh man. Can't tell if he's a doctor until we see his handwriting. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? That dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. Oh my god. Fan. Poor thing. I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. Everybody's crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. Don't bully that shit, friend. Some water. Tank with water. Good. Hee <laughs> hee, we would look so funny without skin. It's fine. All humans have that in common. She's just so... She's trying so hard not to just get bogged down by all this crazy shit. The brain has so many different parts. Why does the brain have two sides? Okay. Oh boy. Oh! What the hell? Steering. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow. Meow. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Her. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to the thirst of my darling. Palantras can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart. Meow. Kitty, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dean, alright? He seems to be in trouble. Are you alright, sir? Wake up, please. Dr. Dean, wake up. Are you alive, sir? What should I do to wake him up? I'm trying to cut him free. Contest is the same color as my pills. Can it be? Will I inject it with my um, in myself? No. I inject it in him? Don't need this. I can fucking, fucking kill him. Looks like. The old man again. Dr. Oswald. Yeah, Leon Oswald, right? The guy, the crazy guy whose journal I got. Maybe this will wake him up. What? Oh my god. Holy shit. Timed out what happened. Welcome back. Uh, Right, Fran, you're not inside. Everything is there. What kitty's talking such? Ah, oh, damn. What was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dean. It's me, Fran. Oh, what? I can't see very well. Fran Bo, sir, from the Oswald Asylum. We were here at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Drugging the dog, good idea. That wakes me up faster than being stabbed. Come on, friend. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. Here's the guy. But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her. Ah, I did! I told you she was a hard one to tame. You want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me, Aunt Grace. Why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother, do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald from Oswald Asylum. Oh, I thought it was Leon. Can you tie up the doc? Don't blame Fran. Yes, Fran, the same old man. Why do you know about my mother and my aunt? 
Many years ago, I was studying the, magnific uh, the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. So yeah, they were twins. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me find the key to success. Key, did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Of course, Remer did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding the knife after all. How would I be able to cut them up? I'm 11. There's no way I have the knife to like cut through bone. Did he murder the parents? I'm so confused. He's saying that I did. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Remer all the time, but why does he hunt me? Remer is a manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. Why would a monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. Pain is connected to growth and strength. I guess the plot twist coming in the psychotic episode. Oswald, please, just... Let's do what's needed. Oh, Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Don't trust this bitch. Oh, God. Stab him. Go with your aunt, Fran. Isn't that what you want? Stab him. Dr. Dean, are you alright, sir? Oh, damn it. If I pull this. Oh! <gasps> just kill him? What does this lever do? It didn't kill him. He's still alive. Holy shit. Buttons don't do anything. Where's she taking the kitty? God damn it. Oh, boy. Fran, my dear, listen to me. You must know Dr. Oswald only, want was, uh, only wants what's best for you, sure. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us that I'd take good care of you. Your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. For that, you must allow him to try a, a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine. Of course, but there's still going to be one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. Oh, uh... Fran. No, kitty. Why would you do that? Stop weeping, the cat is dead now. But he was my friend! You killed my best friend! You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you! I hate you. Stop it, Fran. Help. Help. Please help. Choker, Fran. Kill that bitch. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Kitty can't fly. He'll land on his feet. Oh my god, the gunshot was so loud. What the fuck? My goodness, she's totally insane! Bring her to me, I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. What the fuck? Fran, are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me, you were both right or you were right about Fran, Dr. Dean, she was sick. She's bleeding, let me take care of her. You're, you killed other people! How is it not right to kill you? She's bleeding, let me take care of her. No, you won't, she's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. What the fuck? It word. Yeah, kill that bitch. Shooting a little girl 30 to life on prison. Friend, everything will be fine. I mean, she had the little tiny hands, and like she was gonna kill her. Who, who are you? I'm it word, the one, uh, the one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Ecto bro, ecto prote, Polantris Monakai. Oh yeah, Polantris has to save me fast. Gorska, Itward, I found him! Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl, leave her alone! Wait, oh, he caught her. Oh, he caught Kitty. Thank God. Little friend must be cured. You think you can use the same body? Yeah, she's not completely gone yet, here I go. Mother Mabuka, you took the innocence of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards light. 
Want a murderous little brat who was a lady? The bitch deserved it. They were just pushed her off. <laughs> Healer. That, what? My aunt killed my cat and killed my fucking parents. Or was part of my parents being killed? Of course I would try to choke her. Who wouldn't? What happened? It were Palantras? My heart hurts. Mr. Midnight, how? You're alive. My kitty. I miss you so much. Please tell me something. Family, you must go now. Go. All right. Dr. Deer, look, this is Edward and Palantras. Told you about them, remember? I told you they were real, see? Some weird stuff when you're dying. Holy shit. Can you believe me now? Drop the needle. Oh, God. He can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mapuka now. We really must leave. But can he come with us, please? He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. What we can do is make him believe that all of this was, uh, all of this was a dream. He'll wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess, as long as he is safe. It's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. We're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. You really think so? Aw, thank you, the Palantras. Where'd the blood in my shirt go? Let's send Dr. Dearn home. Thank you, Palantras. Marcel Dearn, Onum, Vecum, Sodon Solo Ecto. That's his name, I guess. Goodbye, Dr. Dearn. Let's go now, Fran. There's much you must see and learn. Hee <laughs> hee, that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. Holy shit. I still don't know what exactly happened. Apparently they tricked me, or like, took Fran over to make her kill the parents. One thing I do know... Between guilt and fear, I chose happiness, or I choose happiness. Get rid of this flying machine. Is that really the end? What? I don't... What? Nothing was really explained. Really? <laughs> Achievement unlock the end. Well, I mean, it was good. I think I got a good ending or something. Return what you stole. That was an achievement. The never-ending story. <laughs> See, it was nuts. Well, I know. Uh, apparently, according to what just happened, is she, she didn't really kill her parents. That's why she didn't remember that. The guy took her over. Like, he mind-controlled her. And it made her kill her parents. Make the guard fall asleep. Now do you do that? The twin's favorite doll? Turn what you stole. Looks like the ID or something. You crashed the game. It work. Computer crashes. Electro man. Electrocute the doctor three times. <laughs> what? Cake and sweet craving. Memorial light the candles. The old story. Find the picture behind the door. Yes, I missed that one. Wow. I got most of the achievements though. Well, half actually. None of 18. She had a twin too, she killed everybody. I mean, yeah, Fran was mind controlled to kill her parents. I don't think that really counts. Um, that's why she didn't remember it. But the doctor, the doctor and her aunt were experimenting on her. They wanted my brain? Because he was studying twins? The ending was kind of abrupt, man. I remember the murders. I think it was kind of abrupt. Huh. Good game. Psycho. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. That was crazy. It was saved me from my aunt. After I, and then Palandra saved me after I got shot. <laughs> Holy shit. They got your brain, I think. You think I wait what? I got away. I mean maybe that, that's how I imagine it ending. They Yeah, I could see that, I guess. Like, not actually ending that way. It's like, I, they, they actually ended up taking my brain, so my brain imagined that I ended happily? I don't know. Uh, apparently the keyword of the five realities? 
Ah, oh, fucking no, man. There's a lot that I don't understand. They want to do a lobotomy. I, I, I kind of flew away there. It's the only, the only two endings that make sense. Either that I imagine that and I died, or I actually was saved. I mean, the doc. That, that's the thing I'm thinking about, though, right? The doctor. I mean, they said he wouldn't remember, but he saw. I, I don't think that's what happened. I think she actually lived. The doctor saw Itward and Palantras. I, I can go get some achievements, I guess. Let's see.